Hi, this is ZQ Chiu, Forex Trader, Fund Manager and Coach at Asia Forex Mentor. So in this video, I will be revealing what I do on a weekly basis and I will be sharing my analysis for this week, alright, 16th of Feb 2015. So you can re refer to this video throughout the week to spot for trade setups, right? The analysis in this video will be my trading plan for the week. So in my weekly analysis videos, I'll be sharing pairs that have possible trade setups for the week or pairs that are worth mentioning. Right, so here's the first pair. Okay, so the first pair I'm going to talk about is the dollar sing, right? USD SGD. Right, USD SGD has been moving up for the past few months, right? For, for the past few months. So if we zoom out, we could see it is heading right up to the previous low, to the previous low. And then it went here, it got stopped back in. 2008 right and then went up it came back down again at 2010 eventually it broke through so it's now heading back up the old support level which is now will be the new resistance level so this resistance level is also met by the Bollinger Band which I have over here alright so I would say here is a strong area of resistance Right, and uh, it needs a huge buying momentum to eventually to break up from it. So my take on this will be it could either right away break up or you will go down. Right, but here is an important level to take note. So what I normally do is I'll just mark an arrow up and down over 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 this area, so that I know here will be an area. Right, if I see a good sell signal during this week itself. I'll probably do a quick sell because I'm not sure how far this will take given that there's previous strong series of bullish bars, right? Green long bars, right? So the buying momentum is really strong. So if I'm going to sell over here, so if you are going to sell on the dollar sing this week or on the following week, um, it got to be uh, fast because the, the recent buying momentum is really strong, okay? So if we head down to the weekly, we could see that um, prior to that, it has a pin bar on the previous week, all right? And then and last week, it formed another pin bar opposing down. So we have two contradicting pins, one pin pointing up, one pin pointing down. G given that, I would say I will wait. I will wait for a conclusion as in if there's a close over the previous pin here, the previous green high of the green pin or the close of the, the below the, the low of this red pin whichever direction it is i believe that would take it down if it's going to go down it's probably going to head down all the way to my white line over here which is my moving average okay so if it's going to head up let's see if it's going to head up the next stop that you will most likely head to would be around the red level here the red line which i've placed over here which is marked by the pre this is on the monthly time frame marked by the previous lows and then the previous highs so here was a series where price respected this level a lot. It's around the 1.42 level. Okay, so if it's going to hit up, I would say at most it's going to stop over here. So if we place a buy, we're going to take profit over here. All right, so this is my analysis for dollar sing this week. So in this week, I'll be looking at dollar sing, dollar sing pair. I'm looking at the lower time frames to see if there's a good signal to do a sell. If I'm going to sell, it's going to be a quick sell. Otherwise, if it's going to break up, then we can look forward to either take some quick profit at this, at this moving average over here and eventually the final one maybe somewhere below the red level. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is the dollar yen. So the dollar yen, let's see on the monthly chart. The dollar yen has, so this was the previous lows in 1999, right? 1999, it made a, it made a low came back again 2004 make another low it came back again at 2000 and um 2008 it make another, another low eventually it broke down all right so here was a strong level eventually went back up tested this level again so right now in the recent years it tested this level eventually it broke through and here it acts as a support so this level was an important level for the dollar yen eventually and if we draw a series of um trend line using the previous highs here was the one that started in 1997 if i link it to the 2006 eventually it joins back at 2013 so this was the point where eventually oh my eventually it broke up all right it broke up 
and here was the starting of an um, uptrend at the point it broke over here. Here was the point where it hit it up, all right? And we see a series of nice long green bullish bars, right? So eventually it is going it stopped somewhere um, based on all this previous high. So let's see the weekly time frame, right? And the daily. I would say this pair, if we go back, all right? This pair, it's going to be consolidating sideways, somewhere like how it did over here. The, um, the bull run is kind of losing its steam, at least for a while now. It's going to take a break, so it's probably going to side hit sideways, it goes up later or goes down later at this point in time. The uptrend has seems to have stopped. So if you are trading the dollar yen pair, all right, it's not going to, it's probably not going to break up or break down uh, anytime soon. So if you are going to trade it, your take profit got to be pretty close, pretty much in the zone over here, right? Pretty much at a, over, if you're going to take profit, you're going to take profit at the high of the green here, or you're going to take pro profit, if you're going to sell, you're going to take profit over here. Because it's probably going to go sideways a while before it decides whether, does it have enough momentum to break up further? Or the buying momentum have stopped and then it's going to stagger a while and probably it's going to go down. Okay, so this is dollar yen. All right, the next pair is pound cat. Right, GBP CAD. If you look at the GBP CAD, all right, based on the monthly chart, um, there was a series of bars that respected over here. So I drew a line over here, a support level. Eventually went back up and tested and made it a strong new resistance level. So here was a here was a heavily strong level since 2007, right, 2007. And then now at 2015, right, price heads back up to test this strong level once again, right. So it's, and there's no, and it's, it is very obvious that why it stopped over here. So had we been buying over here, we had to take profit at the red level, at this red line, which was the previous strong support and resistance level so right now you could go both with both ways it is either if it's going to break up i mean there's a lot of room to hit up we can draw another line over here at the top where it's kind of consolidating over here right so if it hits up we're going to take tp over here take take profit over here or else if there's a strong signal to sell then probably it's going to hit down and then it's going to hit down probably to the the moving average over here or somewhere around here this is where we take profit so this is how this is how i trade i i look at the overall point of view and when and then during the entire week itself i'll go down and analyze on the the lower time frames to see if there is um, trade setups right a good signal to enter so with the main plan in mind i'm trading in line with my with the big picture which is what i'm mentioning over now right so if it's going to go up is there has pretty much lots of room for it to run from the entry point let's say all the way to the top is whew, um a thousand and one thousand four hundred world pips all right there's lots of room right it's going to go down it's probably going to get stopped at here which is around one thousand two hundred pips so this is the overall picture so every week i will do the overall main analysis and use this analysis on the lower time frames so you're going to, you could go and use um the main analysis and go to the lower time frames to spot for trade setups. So apparently this week there isn't very much major, major or strong setup um, to trade for. But that doesn't mean there is no trade, right? In the big, in, now I'm talking about the overall, the overall game, right? The overall game view, right? The point of view, and then this is the overall main sense. But you got to understand, right? Why, why, why do I talk about the overall main sense? Is because if you get the overall idea and you are in line with the overall movement, the movement that you're going, you will be entering on the lower time frames will usually end up as a big winner because now you're trading from the overall point of view from a higher time frame and use that use that idea to trade on the lower time frames, right? So if your approach, for example, if on the higher time frame is a buy and then in the lower time frame you entered a buy based on the lower time frame setup, for example, this is going to be a of a higher probably winning trade had the had it been um, uh, 
um, vice versa, if for example the higher time frame, the, the overall point of view is a sell, but you have been buying on the and you didn't know that and you place a buy on the lower time frame. So that could re uh, largely reduce the winning ratio. Okay, so I'm going to do one last analysis before I round this up for the week. All right, so which is the Euro Yen. <clears throat> All right, the Euro Yen monthly uh, recently, there is a, just last month, there's a huge spike down. Right, major selling momentum. Right, so I I I retrace this back all the way to 1990, 1997, 98. Right, 98, where almost a similar scenario happened, uh, which is uh, it was dangling around the my my white line, which is the three six five moving average, and the orange line, which is the one fifty moving average. Right, so eventually it retraced, it goes back up. Shots back down and rested on the white line, All right? So and then eventually it broke down and it hits back up all the way to make a new high, came back down again. So from what I feel, right, I feel that right now in two one five, it's a close resemblance of what happened in nineteen ninety seven or ninety eight. Okay, so what we see over here could be similar whereby eventually this month will end sem somewhat with a green bar and then the following month could could shoot right down and all the way heads down all the way right so here could be a start of a big selling momentum but uh, that is just the overall idea i'm not asking you to sell right now what i'm telling you that this is the overall um could be the overall view for the euro yen for the month Right, so on your lower time frames, if there is a trade setup for you to sell, then go ahead and sell. But at the same time, since you got the idea that that could that could trigger a big selling momentum, then hey, you could instead of um having a quick uh take profit, you could uh, intend to trail it even further or have different profit uh exiting plan. All right, so this is my um trade setup analysis for this week, and um I'll see you all next week. All right, happy trading.